What's up, YouTube? Emilio Aurelia broadcasting something, and what it actually is, is my new 2023 Indian Dark Horse Pursuit Premium Package. So I thought I would give you a quick review. The first 500 miles, just turned 500 miles on it today. Um, and let me first tell you a couple of things that I'll be honest with you guys, I really don't care for. They're minor. Overall, I love this freaking bike. I'm not going to... Uh, Lie to you, it's fantastic. I'm happy. Uh, but I'll tell you uh, one of the things right off the bat that kind of surprised me a little is when you get below 25 miles, it gives you a low fuel warning. But what it does when it does that is it then says low fuel. And you're totally guessing as to how many miles you've got left in your tank. Uh, at 25, it, uh, it flashes that orange uh, gas tank right there. But then at, I think, 15, it goes to low and you're totally in the dark as to how many more miles you've got, which I think is kind of silly. Um, it does give you this, hey, let's get you to a gas station, go, and the Navi will then go ahead and route you uh, to a gas station. Uh, the Navi's pretty slick. Uh, but that's the first thing that I didn't really care for. Is uh, And I noticed that I usually don't get it that low below 25 miles, but I was surprised that when you do get low, man, holy cow, you're kind of hosed because you're guessing you're guessing as to how many miles you got left the second thing that i really didn't care for is holy cow guys look at this indian has a um 500 mile checkup they call it and for a forty thousand dollar bike at your 500 mile checkup they stick you for 475 dollars to have the 500 mile quote unquote oil change and so with all of that said you know the, the gas thing, a little surprising. Um, the 475-mile, uh, quote-unquote, tune-up or 500-mile check. For 40 grand, you think they'd throw that in, but heck no, they don't. Um, here's a third thing, and the most, maybe the biggest change. I've been riding Gold Wings since 1998. 25 years I've been riding Gold Wings. And instead, what I'm doing now is I'm going ahead, and I've got this uh, new Honda Pursuit or this uh, Indian Pursuit, and the thing that I noticed about it is it's hot. Um, I've got this pair of blue jeans right here, and even though this is a liquid-cooled 1800 twin-cylinder engine, um, it rides hot. Uh, if you take a look at one of the features on this bike, is it's got what's called paddle shifting, and on the not it doesn't shift, but what it does is it goes between screens, and you'll see as it's going between the screens, it's 176, but if you're riding this thing and it's idling, it'll get up to 185, 195 in that area. It, it cools down to 180 when you're driving the motorcycle, uh, but at 190, uh, sitting at a stop sign uh, or a stoplight in traffic uh, with shorts on, it's toasty. And so for the first time, I'm gonna be wearing blue jeans, no matter how warm it is. You can see here in Minnesota, it's actually 90 degrees today. Uh, but you know what? You gotta wear you gotta wear pants with this thing because it runs hot. Now, enough whining. What do I like about it? Uh, first of all, tons of cargo space on this motorcycle. Um, we got the back bag here. You've got the back uh, trunk lid, which is real nice. You've got the two side saddle bags that are on this motorcycle. Got them full of junk already. You've also got here storage on the side over here. And there's also storage down here. That's one little thing of a little gripe that doesn't really pop open the way that it should, but maybe it's it's only been opened about four times, so I can imagine that it's brand new. Uh, other things, uh, hey man, the stereo system sounds great on the bike. Um, it's got an automatic windshield. Let's see if I can show you that. You push this lever over here twice and the windshield goes down. And actually it doesn't really produce a lot of buffeting uh, you're not jumping around all over the motorcycle. Your head isn't snapping around. Uh, but if you've got that windshield all the way up, man, you could light a cigarette easily. Uh, there's really not a lot of wind. And so the power on the bike is awesome. I think one of the things I like about it the most, it's so damn attractive. It's a beautiful looking motorcycle. Um, like I said, I've rode Gold Wings for 25 years, and this has got that V-twin thump, which is just sexy as heck. Never had that before in my life. I'm 59 years old, and I really enjoy it. It's a bigger bike. you got to muscle it around a little bit, but if you've been driving touring bikes, you'll like it. Other than that, guys, the storage is great. Acceleration is great. Braking is great. 
Sound is great, looks great. Other than a few of those couple little things that I said, I've been very, very satisfied with my first 500 miles on this motorcycle. So I may do another one that's a review later on just to tell you whether I'm still liking it or anything like that. But, you know, aside from paying 40 grand for a brand new motorcycle and then within 500 miles having to pay another 500 dump into it, a little disappointing. Other than that, you know what, guys? This was truly a great buy. I'm really happy with this motorcycle. Anybody that buys one, I think will be happy too. Everybody take care. Have a great day. Bye.